Okay, now looking at a couple of hands here, we have a, a plastic right hand that's held together with wire and a real uh, left hand that's held together with nylon string. So it's a bit looser in the way that they're held together. So if we're looking at these um, hands, you can notice hopefully immediately that the thumb is on the lateral aspect of each one and if we look closely, and it may not show up beautifully on camera, oh it's not too bad there if I do that, you can see just here there's a prominent structure sticking up at, off that carpal, that's the hook of the hamate. So that means that this uh, is an anterior point of view, so this is the anterior or palmar surface and so we're looking at an anterior view of a right hand not a posterior view of a left hand which looks pretty similar except you can't see the, the hook of the hamate from posteriorly. We also have the pisiform here with the proximal row of carpals. We have the pisiform sitting anterior to the trichrectum there. Now with the real hand this is a, a left hand, an anterior view again but because of the way it's held together with the nylon string it's not quite as obvious the way the carpals are put together. We can actually kind of um, gently push them together so that they articulate the way they would in life, um, or at least approximate that, but it's not as easy and simple as it is with the plastic one. So bear that in mind, all the same bones are still there, but it can be a bit trickier to tell what's what. But let's have a look, remember when we're learning the carpals, we tend to start from the proximal row thumb side, and we go scaphoid, lunate, triquetrum, pisiform and then trapezium, trapezoid, capitate, hamate. So again, we've started on the thumb side with the distal row. So scaphoid, lunate, triquetrum, pisiform, trapezium, trapezoid, capitate, hamate. <coughs> so that's the carpals there. If we look at a posterior point of view of the right hand there, we can still see scaphoid, lunate, triquetrum. Can't see the pisiform. And then we can see trapezium, trapezoid, capitate, hamate very clearly, but we can't see the hook there on the hamate. So remember, if you're looking at a hand, you can't see the hook of the hamate or the pisiform sitting anteriorly, then you must be looking at a posterior point of view. Now, with the uh, metacarpals and phalanges then, um, what we have is with each of them, we have a base, which is proximal, a shaft, which is in the middle, and then a head, which is distal. So this would be the shaft of the first metacarpal. This would be the head of the second proximal phalanx. So make sure you're putting in all those terms. So then this would be the shaft of the third middle phalanx, and this would be the head of the fourth distal phalanx. Okay, so that's um, what you have to put in. You have to put in all four of those terms if you're talking about one of these bones and all three if you're talking about one of the metacarpals.